Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation in Seattle with a note on dem uh, displaying barometer, barometric pressure in, uh, in OpenCPN. And so I have one barometer going into here now. And, th and there's several aspects to getting all that going. So first of all, let's look at the ways you can show the pressure. Uh, this is uh, the dashboard. And the dashboard's showing the pressure here. Now, that's obviously more decimal places than are realistic. Normally, with a pressure, we would do like 1014.3 or 0.2 it is here. So you would round this uh, to here. This, uh, this becomes less and less meaningful over here. But it's important that the, the international standard for pressure reporting and observations is 0.2 here. Uh, with hopefully, and, and again, hopefully, uh, for the best work, we're hoping we have a barometer that's accurate to within, that we actually know is reading the proper pressure to within one, one millibar. And, uh, and so these days there's lots of ways, and we have references on that. I'll show you some at the end, where you can be sure that your instrument's reading that accurately. You probably have a barometer in your phone that'll do the job. Okay, so 1014.2, that's the pressure. And so that's one way to show it. This is called dashboard. That's a plug-in that everybody has. Comes with the program. And I'm using version 5 on Windows. And I have to do Windows because, uh, well, I'll show you why in the next time. But the Mac version is a little behind on some of the plugins on the version 5. The other way to do it is another, this is another dashboard. It's called the Barometer History. But this one, I show it because it's there. But it's really not very useful because you see this pressure could change notably in the region we care about, you know, going 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. We want to see this when a low is changing or highs we're getting too close to the high or something. We want to start watching this on the tents up here. You never see anything here. Um, so that I show you that's there, but it's not really very useful till unless there's a way to change this scale I just don't know how to do it I just this comes up automatically I don't know how to change the scale maybe there's a way in some any file or something to change that in which case that would be nice this on the other hand is a uh, a plugin it's primarily designed for doing tactical analysis with plotting winds uh, I know I'm plotting wind speed as a function of time or say keeping track of your uh, boat speed as you go through attack uh, you know it's a training tool that's part of the it's a standalone plugin that you get from OpenCPN called plots with an s plots and um, and then you go here's a different scale you're plotting a different uh, 60 days, I don't know what that's for, but f five minutes and so forth. And then you configure it, and here's the things you can plot, the various speeds, your course, various kinds of courses, wind speeds, wind direction, and barometer right now we're talking about. So here's the issue, and I have to, this is what one of the things, one of the nuts and bolts issues I'm going to talk about now. Uh, the, where, the way that the, this, set, this uh, program, OpenCPN, reads data from our instruments is from a NEMA sentence. And uh, so barometric pressure can be, can be conveyed in two NEMA sentences. Uh, this, this, these dashboards here will take either one of them. The, as far as I can tell, the plots program takes only one. And by the way, you can plot more than one thing here. You can go in here and then turn this on and then be plotting your speed as well. But, um, well, you saw it show up there, but I'm not moving right now and I don't have any simulators running. But that's the pressure. I'm, let me just grab this barometer in my hand here. And I'm raising it. Let's see. It's gone up about a meter, about a meter up in the air. The, the uh, pressure should be going down some. You see that going down. Um, not very much, but it's going down. It's 1014.1. Uh, 10, and then if I take it down, I see I can't get it very low. I go maybe half a meter below my desk. Then the pressure will go back up. So anyway, that's working. With a barometer, with a, you know, with a calibrated barometer like this and have a good readout like this, you can measure your height. You can measure your height uh, with the barometer. So anyway, that's the display, and that's the kind of precision we want to see as we're watching our pressure systems change. And that's in this plot function here. Okay, now to get that in here, let's back up. Let me, I'm going to show the nuts and bolts over here of the setup. But for now, let's go back up a little bit 
and look at let's see okay here's okay here's the dashboard plugin these are base notes from the open CPN manual what's online and they notice what the dashboard takes MDA and XDR these are the two the, and that's that's a nickname for this sentence I'll show you more about that in a minute this one is outdated uh, called obsolete However, you see it's not in, uh, for OpenCPN for right now, it's not obsolete because the plot, as far as I can tell, the plot requires you use that one. And I'm going to show a way around that because in the second part of this video, I'm going to do another barometer. The barometer I'm using right now puts out both of these, uh, both, uh, both signals. And, um, and that's an MDA. This is a transducer values. This is the one that's supposed to be used now. And you can read a little bit more about these sentences here. And I'm not going to, I won't spend too much time on this at all because this is actually lifted from, uh, from the o open CPN section on uh, NEMA has a description of the, these sentences. And that's the way that's supposed to look. We'll look at some of those actually here. Here's the XDR. Whoops, here's the... Here's the XDR right here, and it's from a transducer. And actually, the device I'm going to show in part two actually is a board here. I'm not going to spend time on it now, but this little board here that is just, is just these two things put together. It doesn't cost very much to do that. And then it, it, it's going to read out uh, uh, pressure, uh, heel, trim, and a magnetic heading. And um, and so we can do all those things and, and do that next part. But now here, okay, so here's what the standard sentences look like. Standard Brahm, oh shoot, sorry. It's, something's touchy. Uh, here's a standard XDR sentence. So it's a P means a pressure. This is in bars. That's in bars. So we want millibars. You're multiplying clear over to here. So this is actually 10, 12.54 millibars, but that's a bars. Then the word B, I think that stands for bars. And then there's borrow. And then how, there's a question of this comma. At, at one point in life, I was thinking that this comma was a problem in OpenCPN, but I don't think it is. I, I, there was something other... Some other issue there. Comma seems to be okay. I believe the comma belongs there. And then this is just a checksum to see that this is a valid, valid sentence. Here's the MDA, and it's unusual, and it's got the pressure in inches, and that's the I inches, and then it's got in bars and B. And then these are all these commas have to be here for all these other types of wind in, uh, in, uh, meteorological instruments that would go in here and in here. Again, this is outdated. Or you could have a sentence just like this if it's just a barometer. And a sentence, here's the one that we have with the accelerometer and a magnetic sensor. And, uh, and it's got um, XDR and it's got the... Um, oh, these are all part of the roll and pitch. And then over here is the P starts the pressure again in in um, bars in a borrow now let me come back to something else here um, these first two letters that's these three letters the xdr in a nema sentence that's telling you the rules on what's where here and what format and how many digits and all that stuff that's this x the xdr is describing this there's a, in other words, once you have XDR, you have an absolute rule on this. These two number, these two characters out here, it's called the prefix, I believe, and that's um, that is uh, supposed to indicate the sender, the talker, the talker, and WI means it's wind instruments, and. Um, and if you have just borrow, you could call that a wind instrument and have not a problem, same way down here. But once you have a transducer or you have all these, uh, the, these um, various sensors on the same board, then you really can't call it, then it's not really totally proper to call it a WI. And then the proper sentence uh, prefix here is, uh, is YX. Now you look that up. Let me see if I have that here. Um, the, the, okay, that's not going to matter that much. This is kind of like for detail. There's a link where you can actually look that up. And this is what the official NEMA talker identifier mnemonics, right? So this is the formula that tells you what these, what these letters should be. If it's a GPS, uh, no, no, satellite navigation. GPS is GP. 
you know, it should be a GP out there. But uh, And then here's all these terms. Weather instruments are WI, and you get down here, transducers, that. And I'll put that link there. Now, usually, that does not matter what that is. You know, open CPN, I don't think is going to care. However, in a lot of instruments, if this starts with a P, if it starts with a P, then that means it's a proprietary to some company, and then it might matter. So if you get a barometer that's coming out of some person's private instruments, I don't, you know, I don't know what they would be, but then you just have to keep an eye on that. But these are the two that uh, OpenCPN accepts. And oh, okay, so that's that's what we're looking at there. Oh, I wanted to say, uh, let's see, one other thing here. Um, let me go back here to this. Here, if you want to know, they've got very nice notes inside of OpenCPN about these sentences, but I would, the, the real kind of like a little more definitive, uh, or not definitive necessarily, expanded treatment, you would just go to a browser, uh, go to a browser and type in NEMA Revealed, N-M-E-A-R-E-V-E-A-L-E-D. That should do it. And then you get NEMA revealed. And this then is a little more detailed discussion of the NEMA conventions and rules and so forth. So that's just a reference there to look, th to look that stuff up. And then they, this one also gives examples. And, you know, it's a very nice resource. Uh, this one I'm going to sh I've show you this. Well, I was going to show it at the end. But this is a link I'll give you, starpath.com slash borrow book. And this is a ton. These are all articles and uh, articles we've produced on the use of barometers and weather tact for weather tactics and analysis and so forth. So that's a great compilation of stuff, including I just saw it. Where was that? This is an uh, this is a free a free barometer app for your barometer. I mean for your phone, a free barometer app for your phone designed for mariners. It's very nice and it's for Android or iOS and it's free. Okay, let's get back to work here. Uh, here's OpenCPN. Okay, so once you have these sentences coming in. Let's close. Well, let me just move that for a while. This I can close because we don't really need that. All right. So you go to the ranch and you go to connections and you go to, um, you make a, let's see, which one am I doing now? I'm doing this one that has both. So you have to set up, this is coming in as a serial port. It's a, it's a USB and uh, it could be, depending on your barometer, you could have to load some drivers to make that work. Uh, maybe you do, maybe you don't. But uh, that would, you know, drivers in your computer. Uh, this one, I think think did, but you know, Windows 10 and so forth, pretty good about going online and finding the drivers. So this one has that. Then you come down here, and uh, so here, um, this would probably be blank. You know, either when you first get a default here, it could be all, well, let me just say, let me delete these and say select all. It could look like, okay, it could look like that. It could look like, or no, actually, I take it back. It won't have those. Okay, so let me go back and go back and clear all. And then uh, take this one and, uh, uh, oh, wait a delete, delete. Okay, well, I, I guess I put them in there. They're staying, I don't know. But anyway, it could have all of those. So what you would do, the first thing you want to do is this is, telling you what sentences you want to accept on this connection. And so um, I would just say clear all. Okay, there's none. Then go back to here and say add. Oh, see, now they're gone. Okay, add, add. And then it doesn't, lowercase upper doesn't matter, XDR. Okay, you add that. And um, okay, okay. Ah, I did them all. Why is that? Okay, it won't matter. As long as I have XDR there, it won't matter. But, um, okay, so apply. Okay, so then th that's there. Now, to double check things are working, you go to this one and click the NEMA debug window, and that'll see. So here are the sentences coming in from this barometer, and it has... These are both what called weather instruments. Oh, there's no, yeah, there's, there's WI, XDR, 
and WIMDA. Now I think if I have just if I have just here plugins. Okay, wait just a minute. That's not what I want. Connections um, enabled um, enabled. Come down here. Yeah, I have XDR. Wait a minute. Why is all that? Let me excuse me. Let me just get rid of those. Clear all. And I'll just put a check mark here and XDR. So I have only XDR. Okay. Now, uh, okay, so there. Um, so now I have, okay, so that's working and, it, and it's, it's reading XDR and you read the pressure here. But look, I think the plot is not working. You see, the plot is just quit working. If I go back here, configuration, uh, barometer, see I've checked. I, I can uncheck that. That doesn't still. You see, it's not working. It's not working. Okay, so th that's it's this. So that's my conclusion that that doesn't work. So what you have to do then is go back to the connections, uh, name a sentence, uh, go back here, and say add, uh, add, and then put the MDA. MDA. Okay, that works. Okay. Now you got MDA apply, and you and you come here. Apply, okay, and you have is that working? Oh, it's not checked. Okay, I'll check it. Okay. Now what's that? Okay, see now it's moving and it's working again. So I I've concluded that you have to. Uh, uh, MDA and okay, so that's that's all that's involved. You've got to get the sentences. The sentences have checksums and so forth. And I'm going to stop right here on this one, and then in a minute come back and make another one where we start out with a different barometer that has only XDR, and uh, we're going to convert the XDR to MDA so that th with tools, powerful tools of this. Uh, and then have that running. But that's that. With a lot of background, I apologize.